All right, so we're stopping to get fuel here, and I'm going to tell you where we are because I really don't know. Rawlings, Virginia. We're on 85. So we're headed down to Durham. I was I would record outside, but they're like blaring copyrighted music. So uh, we're here to Davis Travel Center. Davis Travel Center always has mud flap and always has a pretty good discount. So uh, let's see. This is exit 39 off of 85 in Virginia. It's considered Warfield, Virginia. And uh, pump price is 410. And with um, with mud flap, it's 355. So I'm going to go in here and tell them my code and uh, top the tank off because we were probably going to be getting close to getting low when we delivered. Got 100 miles left, and uh, I'd rather just be safe and get fuel and uh, not have one of my typical problems of uh, running way too low on fuel and possibly running out. That's a good looking truck. I like that tan color. But it's time to do a load check before we crawl in here. That's the main thing we're checking. I have this car stuff in the back. Got a pretty good amount of room in between them, which has been nice to crawl in here. And uh, these ones I can get from here, but that's a little too far of a reach to get any uh, any muscle on them. So as we're getting fuel here, I decided I'd touch on this. I know this isn't the best lighting, but. Um, copyright music like I just said so we're hiding in the trailer but um so I've really been um this last week I was off I've really been trying to keep track of my expenses just because of um like a penny saved is a penny earned a dollar saved is a dollar earned and just seeing where I can um cut back on convenience items to save money as far as like getting fuel at certain places and uh you know buying certain products maybe stocking more stuff that i can get cheaper online and bulk and save money that way instead of just picking up stuff at stuff at the truck stop picking up stuff at AutoZone. that stuff adds up like crazy like yesterday when i had that truck the the white dually blow the intercooler boot i had to stop at AutoZone or advanced and pick up uh, I picked up a little quarter inch socket set and a quarter inch ratchet. And it was like $53. And it was like a 10 socket piece set. So it's like, it gets you thinking of how much stuff, is, how expensive stuff is when you go to those convenience stores, the, the stores that are convenient, and uh, how much money it, it they really cost you. So I've been using this new software. We'll see how it works. It tracks all my expensing through my business account and I can see like daily and weekly of like uh, spending habits and stuff like that and then it'll like put each thing in a category whether it be tools or maintenance or fuel or whatever it is and then I can see where I'm spending my money um, which is good because sometimes I get real busy and I haven't been you know as good as I should be I'm trying to get my they turn the music down a little bit um, Sometimes I'm not as good as I should be on that kind of stuff. And uh, as a business center, a small business center, got to keep track of your expenses. And to say that I am happy to be back in the 7.3 is an absolute understatement. Everybody always asks why I run trucks that are uh, a little older, a little easier to work on. Well, you saw it last week. Why? Well, I guess trying to have a plan for anything. Never works out. So I, uh, well, I don't know what time it is. Let's see, it's two two fifty five right now. Probably about, uh, probably about one o'clock. I called the customer that has vehicle I'm supposed to return with back up north. Uh, it's a Corvette, and it's headed to a, a shop I've picked up and dropped off at before, up by my old house. So I'm like, I'm gonna give this guy a call because uh, I when I looked up his address, it was coming from a residence. I was like, I'm gonna give this guy a call and see what's up. So I give him a call, I'm like, hey, I know I'm supposed to pick up tomorrow, but I probably will be able to make it there this app like this evening if we wanna get it loaded tonight. And he, he <coughs> excuse me, he informs me the car's not even paid for. Today's President's Day, 
So there's no wire going through today. And by the time a wire goes through tomorrow, I'll already be home. So I had to call the broker and be like, hey, I'm not sure why this thing was on the board yet because the car's not even ready. But here to deliver this Kia, I'm just unstrapping it now and uh, get it delivered. And uh, then we'll wander over here. Uh, there's a gate, I mean, there's a guard at the gate 24 seven during drop off like days for this auction. So there'll be somebody over there. Got to put a new battery in the Barracuda because uh, the one that's in it's dead and he wants to put like an OEM Mopar one in it before it runs to the auction. So I'm going to get this delivered. The Honda dealership's right across the road here. I just pulled into like this gravel lot of shoes. They're like cars parked here. So we just pulled in here. We'll unload here and then we'll, uh, we'll drive it over to the dealer. It never fails that when I go to unload a car, it starts raining. No matter if I'm hauling enclosed, flatbed, whatever it is. So I am going to put you guys back in the truck so you don't get wet. Yep. There we go. Customer got us a new battery for this thing. Go ahead and swap out the old one. I started unstrapping it. Go ahead and get that interstate battery out. Even though it's new, it's dead. I'm guessing something was left on, but this is uh, beautiful. I'm pretty sure all numbers matching and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to get this battery swapped out and get this thing pulled out of here. <laughs> So far you saw a frustrated Jason wandering around. Sweaty, can't get this thing started. Got the new battery and it's still on fire. Called the customer. He had me talk to his mechanic and uh, gave me a couple things to do. So I went to run up to the auto parts store and uh, grab a couple things, but uh, this customer wasn't such a good customer. I wouldn't be doing something like this, but try to keep my cool and uh, at least get this thing running up so they can get it in the auction for tomorrow. Well, we're at the Sadler Truck Plaza in uh, South Hill, Virginia, and we're empty. So after the fiasco yesterday, well, it wasn't really a fiasco. I'll, um, I know I'm going to be compensated for it, so it's not really a big deal. I was there for about three hours. I ended up drifting it out of the truck so I could actually work on it. Called the mechanic who has worked on this car previously and got some recommendations from him, but nothing to get it. Nothing I could do in a parking lot, really. A, without making a mess, because I needed to blow out the fuel lines. Took the fuel line off and tried to um, to clean it as like best as possible to like let the gunk drain out uh, onto what I had, and I kind of like exhausted all my resources as far as towels and stuff like that to not make a mess in their parking lot so what we ended up doing was just um having the golf cart pulled inside thankfully in time because those guys were getting ready to leave so for this auction they don't start the cars and run them across the block um because like starting and shutting those cars off can't be good for them sometimes and also it's the fumes inside they don't want so they hook these straps to every car so a golf cart can tow each one so those guys were actually in there hooking up all the straps for the for the auction car so they brought the golf cart out towed it inside and they're gonna have one of the well he's gonna have to pay one of the um like on staff mechanics to look at it or it's gonna get towed to a shop local that'll get looked at it so it can get running um that was that was Monday and the auctions not till like Friday, but there was an inspector there 
that is supposed to be inspecting that car for a gentleman in California who's interested in um, bidding on it and trying to buy it in the auction. So we got 240 miles left of Deadhead Home, which I think the total was like 330, 340. Um, so how many have, miles have we done today? 87. Gosh, clean that dash off, Jason. Just because the sun's hitting it right, I guess. A little dusty. So what happens when you accidentally leave your windows down and you deliver to places that are uh, dirt lots. I did that the other day and then I realized I left my window down when I went inside and trucks were rolling by and uh, I've had to clean the dash like three or four times of the dust. Anyways, 240 miles home. Let's knock this out because we got other things to do today. Look at that sunset. Well, we're sitting here at the Wawa right before the Bay Bridge on the, uh, I guess you would say this would be the west side of the Bay Bridge. Waiting on my buddy to get here to switch off a truck with me. He comes from about three hours on the, well, we're about three hours apart. So he's about an hour, hour and 45, two hours that way, the bridge, and I'm about an hour that way. So he's got a truck he needs delivered uh, that he sold and then fixed. So we got the flatbed behind us and uh, he just had a kid, he's had a second, uh, second kid probably two days ago or so. So he's very limited in all time. So he'd usually do this himself because he's got all the equipment to do so. But he's like, uh, what would it cost for you to uh, just meet me at the Bay Bridge and take it the rest of the way? I gave him the buddy deal, and then I also have a single truck bed going up that way as well. It's kind of going towards uh, going towards the Pittsburgh area, so it kind of turned out to be uh, to work out for me as far as money wise, and then helps him out. Uh, it's the same guy I bought this 73 from actually, and we're sitting in it right now. Just uh, got about 56,000 more miles on it than what he sold it to me with. I'm really really stuffy so i know i probably sound weird or i just i think i sound weird because my ears are popping um what else do i have any other updates i don't think so i don't think there's anything else other than us just rushing home dropping the enclosed and then hopping underneath this and uh scurrying over here so you should be here i'd say in the next couple minutes I already got my chains and binders out and uh should just be a quick swap off his trailer into mine and I'll get back home. Should be home by seven o'clock-ish or so. Don't have to leave tomorrow morning till probably eight or so. And uh, then uh, I'll update you guys on the rest of the week because I have pretty much a definite plan for the rest of the week. Um, it could fall out, but this stuff's usually like 99% set in stone when it comes about. 